Go and read my comic, it's free! Hey guys, Chan here, and in today's video I have a little ball jointed doll body to unbox. I believe it is official. I believe it is a UF doll, uh, plastic BJD. Now, if this is a recast, do let me know because I don't want to support recasts, but from what I've heard, I believe it's legit. Um, but again, if, if I'm wrong, let me know. <laughs> anyway, let's unbox it. So this is one of those dolls that you can attach Nendoroid heads to. And I have a Nendoroid over here to attach this to. First, let's have a look at the box before I continue opening it. So here's the front, very cute. The, the cardboard feels like a nice quality as well. A small family. <laughs> there's the bottom, there's the side. Three uses for one body. The other side the same, and there's the back. I can't really read any of that, so if you know what that says, let me know. But well, if you want to, <laughs> anyway, let's open this. Oh, it comes with a little card to show it's official, I think. So, yeah, this is a plastic, like a hard plastic credit card type thing got the number of the doll on it so I guess it's official I think <laughs> and I think this is the little instruction booklet or part that's come with it so that's cute and here is the doll body and all the hands and stuff this doll cost me about 10 pounds I think in postage. It is like an actual ball jointed doll with elastic inside which is really cool. I really do not like the official Nendroid doll bodies, I think they are so ugly. <laughs> um, but I thought maybe getting a ball jointed doll body would be better and you know this reveals really nice quality. Let's have a look at the, the, look at the posability. Posability seems really good. I mean, you would expect that from a ball jointed doll. The legs can't go uh, back. They can't go back, but they do have knee articulation. Double jointed, I believe. Yeah, double jointed knee. It's a little bit, looks a bit strange when you put the double joint on, but still. I am really impressed actually. From straight out the box, I'm very impressed. <laughs> the joints don't seem to need any swading. Uh, it has chest articulation. Uh, it's got upper arm bicep rotation. The elbows seem to be jo double jointed as well. I'm really impressed. All right, uh, let's put a no, wait, first let's have a look at the other. I'm a little bit jumbled up today, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> um, so this is not the best unboxing I've ever done. Now what are these? Are these legs? I think these might be legs. I'm not really sure. I think these are legs. Um, but I also think these are legs, so... Hmm. A little bit confused. I think this is a digitigrade leg, so... Um, I'm really not quite sure, I think. <laughs> Something like that. Um, so that's interesting. I'm not going to be unstringing this doll to put digitigrade legs on or anything like that. Um, I, you know, I can't be bothered to do all that. Sitting position. I'm, I'm really excited. This, it feels really nice quality and it was really cheap as well, so. <laughs> we also have these little, um, oh, look at that, that's so cute. A little paw exchangeable parts option. That's so cute. Uh, and then there's also different hands in here. So we've got little paw hands with little paw prints on them. Very cute. Oh, uh, small feet that are little paws. And we do have closed human hands. I'm not sure what these are for. Oh, I know what these are. This is if you want to do exchangeable hands that are like the ones that you pop on and off that you'd get in a more typical non-BJD doll body. So 
you would take this hand out, see it's on an S hook. You'd take this out and hook this on instead. Um, but I don't have any hands to exchange, but it's good to know that I can do exchangeable hands that way if I would like to. Which I would like to buy some different hands for this doll. I would like one with more open fingers rather than this half, half closed fingers thing. Um, but yeah, let's put uh, Hanayo's face on this. So here I have Hanayo's face, back of hair and front of hair and I think all you need to do if it will fit this is the moment of truth just slide that on in there put the front of her face on if it if it's gonna fit it might not I might need to do some um, alterations to this doll to get everything to fit properly all right, we've encountered a problem, have we? Maybe not? No, never mind. Okay. I thought it, I thought it wasn't going to fit, but it seems to fit just fine. Maybe a little bit tight, but... <laughs> and then we put the fringe on, if it will also fit. There we go. I've created a ball-jointed doll Nendoroid. I mean, it's not like I'm the first one to do this. This is why this exists for people to make Nendroid dolls. All right, I did buy her some clothes because I don't know when I'm gonna have time to sew anything. So what I got was some little boots because there's no way I'm gonna be able to make shoes by myself. At least not to this level of accuracy. So, we these out. There we go. <laughs> These are really cute actually, um, I got these from the same um, supplier as I got the doll body from and they are very cute, I got little little laces in there, I might need tying, little shoelaces, I might need to actually uh, fray, the ends are a bit frayed so I might need to singe those with a the candle or something, um, oh, they're, they're very very cute. So yeah, those are the boots. Um, I would like to make her some stockings, so I don't stain the doll. It might be all right for a quick little, quick little um, try on. I also got her this little dress. This came from a different supplier. Um, it comes with more parts than I thought, actually. So, what do we have here? This looks like is that a skirt or a headdress or I think it's a skirt. Okay, this is a skirt? No. Yes? No, I I'm okay. It is a I'm not sure what this is. I think it's a hat. <laughs> But it could easily be converted into a um, apron portion for the dress, maybe. Because I don't think I'm going to want to do any hat things. This this isn't quite the look for me. <laughs> uh, but the dress is really cute. It's got the Velcro in the back, and um, oh, I'm going to take a hands off. I'm probably going to have to take a hands off to do this. So uh, I'll need to. I'll, I'll need my crochet hook or something to do the, the doll stringing and their little bloomers so we can probably put these on quite easily I didn't know that it came with little bloomers <laughs> that's that's good um, I was thinking about making some little tights out of some you know white fabric uh, to prevent it from getting stains from the boots but anyway um, let's see can we can we dress her I'm putting these on backwards, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> you know what, I'll cut the camera and uh, we'll come back with hopefully a fully dressed doll. That took ages. <laughs> I really struggled to get those shoes on, but they're on. So let's once again put her together. Let's put the back of her hair on and 
once that's in, we can do the face. And I would like to put her little glasses on because her glasses are really cute. So, uh, try and get this lined up correctly. There we go. Her neck kind of disappears. <laughs> But that's all right. Uh, and then her glasses. I only recently discovered how to put the glasses on this Nendroid. Kind of thread them through the hair, I think. Um, it's a bit finicky. There. So the glasses are in the hair. And then put them on the Nendroid. And then obviously position them a little bit better because they're a bit wonky. <laughs> there we go. So, there's Hanayo all put together with her little boots and little dress. Uh, and I think she's looking really cute. Let's pull those sleeves down to the correct length. There we have it. Uh, anything else that I can use? I don't know. Uh, did this have like a stall stand portion in the back? I don't think it did. So you'll have to make your own doll stand for this, but I think I'll just, you know, either balance her against something for now, like that, out of focus. <laughs> Oopsie! <laughs> or I can um, sit her on the edge of something kind of like that, which is also out of focus. But uh, you know what, let's, uh, I don't think this video is very long, so let's go outside and do some photography, I think. Uh, that should be fun because I mean, this is that's why I got this Nendoroid to take photos of be it on this doll body or on the um, body that she comes with this is my uh, second Hanayo Nendoroid I own two of this one now <laughs> anyway uh, let's go and do some photos because you know why not oh maybe we should do a quick little review of the doll um, I think it's official so if it's official then I'm really, really happy with it. I mean, the quality is there, it's it's good quality. The articulation seems pretty good. I mean, lots of points of articulation. It comes with all these little extra parts, including the parts where you can buy the uh, hands that you can pop on and off rather than having to uh, restring the doll every time. Well, not restring, you know, pull the hands out. And I used a, a pin that I had to <laughs> to keep the um, elastic and S-hook from disappearing inside. But yeah, I think it's worth the money. I mean, it, it was really cheap. It was like £10 plus a bit of postage or something. I would recommend it. It's a UF doll body, so go and check that out. But if it's a recast, then let me know. But I don't think it is. I think it is legit. Okay, I'm going to go and take some pictures of Haneo outside, I guess. So let's go and do that. So I've only edited like two of these photos to be, <laughs> you know, edited, but anyway, uh, I had fun, it was a nice time taking photos. I actually did uh, these over two days, once it was a little bit grey and dark outside and then I went out when the sun was shining, and she's really fun to take pictures of. I would like to take her out with me, I'm not too worried about damaging her either, because I mean, the clothes will wash, this is also just a cheap Nendoroid I have, so that's good. Anyway. Um, those are the photos. I'm gonna sign off now. So thank you so much for watching. Please do not hit the like button as that probably hurts. Not very nice. So maybe shake his hand instead. <laughs> With that being said, hope to see you in the next one and bye!